Hey guys, welcome back to Tractors, Trails, and Living Free. And we have a beautiful day here in Ohio. It's going to be 70 degrees today. It's dry as far as the water coming from the air. But unfortunately the grass is all spongy. It really holds water in this area. So I thought I was going to be able to come out here and maybe do a little bit of a, maybe a little bit of a plow work on the uh, trails, but it seems like today's going to be a muddy mess again. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to do a little bit of a 430 maintenance project. Um, some I've been wanting to do for about a some bumblebees flying around there. Some I've been wanting to do for about a about a year and a half there since I've had this tractor is to go ahead and uh, replace the battery on it because every time we use it, it seems like I need to uh, to jump this. Uh, now when I was using that battery charger, when I kept that float charger on, um, it would did okay. But if it was really cold, I still needed to give it a jump. So I'm kind of thinking that I haven't really ever had a really strong battery on this thing. So I'm wanting to go ahead and get a new one, put it on there, and uh, hopefully from then on we won't be uh, pulling out the cables every time. So we'll go ahead and get to that, show you what's going on, and then we'll just go ahead and move forward with the project. So we'll catch you back here in a couple seconds. Alright guys, after that super fast motion quick mow I wanted to put on this uh, put on this ground, the first mow of the spring here, uh, even though it's a little soupy and swampy out here, I still got it done and uh, I, don't, I think it'll be okay. So now that we've got that done, let's get to work. Okay guys, so we're here at the tractor now and uh, I've had this tractor, I don't know, about a year and a half now or something like that, maybe a little bit more than that. and. Um, got a problem I'm kind of just about had enough with here on this um so check it out so I'm just gonna turn the key here you see all the lights there maybe so like I'm not even hearing a clicking or anything just running the fuel pump I think is what that noise is um none of that's a problem the problem is the fact that somehow, I, okay, it's a little, little bit of, of background information. When I bought this thing, the uh, the guy whose parents owned it or whatever, he said uh, that he had just put a battery in there, which would be this one right here. It's fine. Um, and, you know, he I don't know that he said it was new, but he said it was a good battery. So anyway, um, I think it's time to replace this thing because this thing just doesn't tend to hold a charge. It seems like I have to jump it every time. Um I just figured let's just go ahead and get a new battery and uh, let's help this thing start on its own. You know, the easier things are to work with, the less you have to do to get things going. Um, the less you have to do to get things going, that's kind of what stops you from doing projects. So, looks like we got a uh, looks like we got a group uh, group fifty eight battery there. Uh, just a, it's an automotive battery. Um, pulling on it here. Looks like it moves pretty freely, so unlike a car, we don't have like a little bolt or something holding it down. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and uh, just go ahead and pick us up a battery and uh, get that in here. So we'll be back here in a second when we get back. All right, there she is. I know is it John Deere, a she or a he? Anyway, it's a beast of a tractor. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, get the battery we bought. We didn't go extravagant. Got a uh, Group Fifty Eight battery with the. It's 550 cca so um hopefully that'll do the trick so we'll just go ahead and uh see what size uh, wrenches we need to get those cables off if real quick and uh get this swapped out and see if we can get a startup without a jump all right 
Well, I'm going to see if I can just do this without getting too crazy with uh, my wrenches. Let's see what we can do here. I don't know if I need that. What we need to do is get, get a little bit of a little bit of slack here. There's a little bit of a gap, and we should be able to tap these off. There we go. And just remember that's the positive side, which is lined up the same way the other one is. Perfect. All right. Well, let's see if we got the angle for that one. Almost got it, maybe. Kim kind of got a bite on it there. Let's see if it'll unscrew. Yeah, it will. That'll be the negative. The positive, I'm just remember, comes through the bottom there. Negative comes around the side. Now, I was right. There is no, uh, there's nothing in there that appears to hold the battery down. Let's see if we can, uh, can I see what we got there? Yeah, I don't know, maybe this hole on the right, I don't know if that's meant to hold a, something that, that holds the battery in. I don't know how you get to it if the battery is in, so I'm going to say no. So let's go ahead and swap this out battery out real quick. So let me tell you about what happened. So anyway, I decided I was going to do a quick mow on, I was just going to mow right here in front of the shed, so I could kind of just get this cleared out and help the grass dry out there and, help, and all that. But I had to end up having to jump the Husqvarna, With this battery, hopefully I didn't uh, run it down much because once it got started, I left it connected, so hopefully it could regenerate. Um, just as there. Come on, get in there, will you? There we go. So I decided to go ahead and mow the whole property that's like not woods out here. And, uh, Positive, negative comes around that side. Okay, cool. Um, well, once I got you know going on that, you know, you know, as when you get mowing, sometimes you get get doing more than you think you're gonna do. And uh, you know, like I said, the ground's kind of wet. So what ended up happening was mowing the uh, the ditch line there out front. I ended up getting it stuck. Um, and at the same time I got it stuck on that angle, the uh, mower deck actually took in uh, took in some kind of ratchet strap. It was just must have been sitting on the side of the road. I couldn't see it, you know, under the grass or anything. So I ended up having to get the uh, get the Massey out, basically, and chain it up to the loader bucket and drag that thing out and hope no cars were going to be coming. It's a pretty quiet country road. But uh, still hoping that nothing was coming. Oh, that's getting pretty tight. Um, now one thing I'm going to check for here. So like I said, this thing wasn't really, I don't know. I don't know if the battery was just weak or, or what, but I don't think anything's dragging it down. But what I'm going to actually check for here that might tell me something is when I retouch the negative here, if there's already a circuit closed somewhere, I might get some sparks, possibly. And that would be kind of a hint of uh, of uh, some kind of phantom power drain. Um, I'm not seeing anything there. So, maybe that battery was just weak. And, of course, there is a possibility that maybe the generator or alternator was uh, possibly not working that great either. So, But it seems to do okay. Um, this thing just hasn't really been running much. So anyway, I used the Massey, drug the Husqvarna out of the ditch, brought the uh, brought that back, 
And then I had to jack up the Husqvarna, lay under this thing, and free this ratchet strap up that was wrapped around the spindle. So, got that done. Once that was uh, done, I was like, well, I'm going to go ahead and finish the yard. Because it's like, I kind of treat my yard in like four different sections. There's a, there's a section, there's a tree line out by the road. And there's a section um, in front of the house, outside of the tree line, and inside of the tree line. And then in front of the uh, shed here that you've seen in most of the videos, there's a section in, in front of the shed uh, on the inside of the tree line and another section outside of the tree line. So anyway, I was on the last section there, so I was like, let me go ahead and get this done. So uh, got the mowing done. And I figured at this point, might as well get this battery swapped out, right? If I can get this tight, because... If you've ever had a car that a car that acts like it won't start, sometimes all it is is just not having a good tight connection on those lugs. So we're gonna try to get this uh, tight enough that it won't vibrate off if that's the case. Well, come on now. I don't know. I want to get this. Uh, I want to get that one tighter. I don't know if I'll be able to do it with uh, just a crescent wrench here. We shall see. I think the way I was doing it was probably the way to go. Just gonna get this tightened. So I know uh, I'm swapping out a battery is not really, not really much excitement, but hopefully you enjoyed my story of my misfortune with the Husqvarna. Thankfully, it does still run. I'm always worried when the new uh, mowing season starts. I'm always worried that maybe uh, since I started storing outside to fit the John Deere and the Massey in the shed. I was worried that maybe the mice will chew the wiring up over the winter, so it's always a concern. I'm glad it was able to start. I'm putting this stuff back in. I don't mean I don't think this was original. I think it was just put in by the previous owner, but but I like the idea of keeping uh, keeping anything from arcing across the cables. So just gonna slap those in there. All right. Okay. Let's get the star of the show in the picture there. Well, that's a good sign. It wasn't doing that before. Go ahead and uh, let they, let's warm up the plugs a little bit. I was hoping for a good start because it's actually not that cold today, but I said it's been a second since this has been started, so.
All right. Well, finally got it out for the first time in the warm weather here. Um, seems like all the hydraulics work still. Three point eight still goes up. It's all good. All right, guys. Well. It was a quick little maintenance project on the John Deere 430, trying to make sure we can uh, have it ready and usable. Uh, ended up, you know, driving and starting all three of the tractors today, so um, I think we're in good shape now in the yards mode, and yeah, we can go ahead and get this weekend started. Uh, guys, we're getting really close to having 700 subscribers, so that's a cool milestone. Uh, thank you all for your support, and uh, just like to ask if you like what we're doing, go ahead and uh, hit that like button. Uh, go ahead and share it if you know other people who'd be interested in what we're doing. And uh, if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and make sure you do that. It really helps our channel out. So we'll catch you next time on Tractors, Trails, and Living Free.